Okay, so I just got a cheap pair of jeans from Goodwill. And that's what you could start off with from their like dollar day. And then you keep this side in. And you're just going to cut carefully that you don't cut off of it. And then you're just going to do that all the way up on both sides. Just go to here and then I'll show you how to get from there. Okay, so once you cut up the sides, you continue. This is the tricky part people never get. So when you're cutting, just continue on the same line where you were cutting. And then you're just going to snip this from here. All right. And then you don't just leave this. Some people do, and it's hideous. You're going to take this where the seam is again. And you're going to partially cut it up like that. So this way when you do get going, you layer that over so it doesn't look like it's poking out and looks retarded. Okay. And then same with the back. When you flip it, you cut this because you're going to lay it that way as well. Okay. So see, when you go to do it, it's going to layer like that. Okay. Okay. And so, I've already made one, or if you have a skirt length you like, you can measure it up with this. And I like this length, so I'm going to cut a little bit longer, just in case something gets uneven I can cut. So, once you figure out, you can make your little cut, take this off, and then you're just going to fold this in half. Sometimes it's also easier if you want, you can cut it before you cut the legs down. Whatever you want is an easier. Once you learn how to do it, it will definitely get easier and you'll figure out what you like more or a better way to do it. I have my own way, I guess, of doing it. Okay, so when you do that, you're going to continue to cut. And if you don't have these scissors, you should get these. They have them at Joann Fabrics or Walmart or probably any like fabric store. They also have some fun ones. That's what I got for my wedding shower, but moving to Italy, it's already on its way there. Okay, so when it goes like that, um, that's the length. All right. Okay, so all I did was turn it back over. Um, where you cut, just straighten this all out. Um, your better looking side obviously will want to go on top. Okay, and when you're doing this, you can make it wider and just separate it more. Um, I like it like kind of in between wide and not too wide. So, unless you're going right back and you can make a full one, you can cut. I'll show you more of that, that after. So you just do that, take a thing of pins. Um, sometimes it's easier on an ironing board, but I don't have one in here right now. And you're just going to kind of like pin it in place, just the top and bottom, like this. Okay? So then that will stay in place while you continue to do what you're doing. Alright. So there's kind of the front. You can put your pins in however you want as long as you don't get poked or whatever. Just flip this over, and you're going to basically do the same thing right here. Okay, so that's that when you pin this. This back piece, when you're doing it, you're going to need to fold under the piece a little bit. So if it ever frays apart or something like that, it won't be seen. So you're just going to pin it like that so it kind of folds a little bit. So now we're going to continue back to the front. Alright, so that's kind of ready and like I love different jeans that have like the patterns and stuff like this. The ones I'm wearing now have like different like glitter and design on it. Um, it just depends how much you want to pay for them. That's why Goodwill on their dollar day you can get them the best. And then with the extra pieces you cut, you're going to now Decide and form your own kind of design to the front, which, like, 
you could do whatever you want, honestly. So just cut pieces, piece them together, and so basically it will have enough to fill around it so you can sew it. Okay, so this is what I came up with. I'll show you what I did. Um, I kind of just took pieces, cut them, cut them a little bit longer, like at least that much past. So Wait, how much? You, about an inch or two, just so it kind of goes across. Um, but I chose a few odds and ends. I chose the bottom of the pants and the two inner seams. And then you kind of piece them together. So they're all just in there. One second. And then, like this top piece, it will always be low because pants, obviously the butt's higher and everything. So this skirt will look odd like that. And that's why it's gonna lay odd. Um, with the pieces, you can also like turn them sideways if you want, especially the bigger pieces. Or if you use like the corner of the pants, like this whole corner, if I cut it this way, you can put a V down the middle. I'll actually show you a couple of the pairs at the end that I've already done that are just different styles and stuff. Um, once you got this piece in together, um, when I first started, it was easier just to sew these three together first, just down the lines, like just these two. But um, since I'm getting more comfortable with it, I just like start to pin it where it's at and then just sew it from there. Um, for beginners, you might want to consider like pinning it where it's at, like just these, and then sewing that and then putting it in here and sewing it into it, just so it's easier for you. Um, if you have any questions, you can always comment, um, but it's pretty simple. You can't really go wrong, and if you really mess up, no one's going to know but you because you designed your skirt. So um, once you do that, you're just going to continue to, like I said, pin it into place, and then you just turn over, go to the back, and I'll show you some more there when I get to mine, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I put my back in together. Just take scraps, favorite pieces you like. Um, and then when you do this part, you need to do this underneath part first. And then you're just going to kind of fold it over a little. And you're going to pin carefully. Like I said, sometimes it's easier to sew that first. Um, and then you're going to continue. Make sure it stays partially folded though. And then just pin that up and you continue just make sure it stays folded and make sure this is long enough because when you sew it down with it folded it even goes further out if you just do it like this it's easier for it to rip and not go through that's what I'm, that was like my first mistake I didn't realize but it stayed intact so if you forget it's no big deal um, so continue with this side and then do this side and then we'll go from there Okay, so we're done. Once you pin all that, it's time for the sewing machine. So here's the design that it will look like when it's done. So um, if you're not sure now how to sew it, um, I can make a separate video and show you how to do that. Um, there's a certain way to sew it. So you can chance it or you can wait for my next video, which I should have up. Hopefully soon. I'm not sure if I'm going to sew this one or not. So I don't know if I have thread. I'll have to check. But it will be a separate video. Um, but anyway, if you don't need it, just sew up each side. Sew across here. Ouch. Watch for the pins. And then when you get up here, make sure you sew it carefully. And make sure you sew it maybe over three times just so it stays. Because that's the part that normally will rip first. Same with the back. Just go over this part really good because this is thicker and it'll be most likely the thing to go out first. But make sure when you sew this that it stays folded over. But otherwise, that's how you put it together. Hope you enjoyed. Okay, so this was my first official skirt I ever did on my own. Um, so yeah, I didn't sew this enough. So it started to rip because I only did one. So make sure you go over this part. Um, I did it pretty simple. And it's a stretchy jean. Stretchy jean is going to be the best. 
Also, like I said with the back, as you can see, I didn't fold it over, so it started to rip. So I had to surge um, sew over this, like one like a nicer machine that would go back and forth easily, and like had to make sure I did that well because it was starting to tear. So that's one thing you really need to watch out for. But that was my first. So okay, this one, um, someone showed me how to start doing it on this skirt. Um, so I didn't actually make this one. Um, I shortened it because it was a bit longer for me and I just, for summer, I don't like super long skirts. I wear them probably about knee, a little under knee length. But like, I loved the diamonds and stuff on this one. It was definitely one of my favorite skirts. Also, with the difference between these two are, I should show you, this one I surged around the bottom so it didn't fringe like this. But if you like the style of this, um, all I do on the bottom is just sew across it at a certain, like this far into it and it'll slowly shred a little bit so it'll be, give it that style or you can do a clean cut and surge it or you can hem it but um, with the style of these skirts, either of these would be good. Okay, this one's an American Eagle name brand. Um, I actually found these at the Goodwill on Dollar Day. So, um, this one I made longer. I'm actually going to be hemming it. I haven't had a chance yet. But you can also keep it longer, like I said. For like, if you, winter, if you want a longer one. Or the fall. Um, like on Pinterest, I have a wall full of cute skirts ideas with some shirts and outfits for the fall and summer. Super cute. Um, if you check me out on Pinterest, it's Charity Mazza on there and you can see all my different styles of skirts. They're super cute. Um, and then there's the back on this one. I'm too fancy on this one. I was running out of material for this one. And then my last one, um, this is totally different compared to the rest. I actually did a zigzag panel. This is Aerofossil. Um, so I remember, because this one I'm starting to tear, you need to make sure you do it good. I've been wearing this one a lot lately, so it's once you wear it a lot, you can actually re sew over it and it's no big deal. But this one, I did one across and did the V thing. So it's totally different. And then the back, I did the V. I actually ran out. But I cut off two pieces right here. Um, so like the end of your jeans, I cut two separate pieces at the end just for the style and sewed it in there. Because I needed a little extra something in it. But yeah, so this one's totally different. So like I said, you can do anything with the middle. Like as long as you like and it's up to you, it's your creation, nobody else's. So have fun.